He spent all over the place. <laughs> Coming to the stage, my man, Todd Rainey, y'all. Bikery down the street. I mean, I sold you a bike, bartender over there. How you doing? You doing good? Yeah, that's, that's Glenn. He bought a bike from me in uh, 92, right, Glenn? <laughs> He's like, did I? Uh... We'll talk later on Facebook. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm tired already. I grew up, I'm an only child. Uh, any only children in here? Anybody grow up with only child? You know, I'm gonna leave screen you guys. <laughs> Only joke is some lonely shit. It's some lonely fucking shit. You gotta be creative and shit. That's why I do comedy. I'm gonna fuck myself. Give me three people here. I'll still give you the same fucking energy. I don't give a shit. Holy child. Talking stuffed animals and pillows and shit. You know what I mean? Talk to any fucking bike, talk to strangers. Talk to other people out of kidnapping me. Like, this fucking kid talks too much. Keep going to the other side. Only child just talking out of kidnapping. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing my bike. And he's like, oh, keep going. He's going to play. He's bringing heat around. He's talking too fucking much. But I had a lot of cool games growing up, though. I, I must say, as a child, I had games like, um, Connect Four, uh, Hungry Hungry Hippo, Battleship. All this should take two or more people to play. What the fuck? Show you up yes, like I had fun playing this shit, but I'm like, yes, no! Fucking suck at Connect Four. Cause my cousin came over, I was like, oh, you're good as shit at these guys. You have siblings. <laughs> and I had Twister. <laughs> I'm only child twister. What kind of last minute game shit is this? Fucking it twister, it's just me and the dots. I'll play with my grandmother, she can't even turn the dial. Cause she got all the right and she's just picking colors. She's like, babe, what you put on green? What's your name? I got sweatpants and shoes on the mat and shit with me. So I don't feel alone. Only child shit. You know, yeah, Twister. 
sister? <laughs> Should have like a hula hoop and jacks. <laughs> jacks is a one person game. You can play jacks for hours. And it's cheap, 75 cents. Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> and I had bunk beds. Like, that's real shit. I had bunk beds. I don't know what my mother was thinking. But bunk beds, she couldn't pass that sale up. <laughs> she was like, how much? For both beds? Look at those beds. <laughs> I got in trouble because I was rotating on bunk. I sleep in the top bunk all day. You know? Grandma the mad, pick a fucking bed, all these sheets were washing. I'm like, <laughs> only child shit. So used to, I used to sneak around the house. I used to play like G.I. Joe and sneak around the house. And, you know, the army dude sneak around the house. And, until I scared my grandmother. She was like 90 something years old. My grandmother was having a fucking heart attack because I wanted to play. It was scary. It was scary. And growing with old people, you know, growing old people is kind of cool though. It heightens your awareness. You know, makes you more aware with shit, you know? You have a tendency to fall out of bed in the middle of the night, so you gotta sleep light. You know, you know? <laughs> Seriously, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You know, bring girls home from high school and stuff, sitting on the couch, watching movies and stuff. You kinda, yeah, I don't have a good time, you know? <laughs> yeah, we had HBO for years. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up with cable, I had cable. All of a sudden, you know, I was like, what is that? I think my grandmother fell on the ground. <laughs> Get my grandmother off the floor. <laughs> Scary as shit to see your grandmother on the floor. You see an old person on the floor, you think they're dead. You're like, oh shit. <laughs> Granny's a trooper. She talked to you while she face down on the car. She's like, baby, I'm good. Just like, gotta go to Dr. Kenarasi in the morning. <laughs> Old people, we gotta be gentle. You can't just yank Granny off the floor. You know what I'm saying? You a gentleman. I can grab you by the arm like this and just say, "Hey, come on, get off the floor." Bro. You know what I mean? Granny, you gotta get down low with her and shit like this. You gotta get down low. You gotta count. You gotta rock to like two or three. You gotta grab under the armpits or something like that. You put her arm out of socket. She's worse off than she was when she fell. So I'm a little bruised, but my arm's out of socket. My grandson, my grandson picked me up. Bro. So, uh, Old people shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Ah, oh, it's a blessing, though. It's a blessing. I, you know, and I'm on the Daddy's Issues show. Thank you for putting me on the show. I thank you guys. I, 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 I am a father of a child. <laughs> one child. One child. When you tell me we got one child, I'm like, oh, so when's the second one coming? Never. Oh, yeah. oh, you need all these fucking children for the parent experience? All you need is one. What do you need a bunch of kids for? Fuck out of here. How much do these fucking kids cost? Kids are fucking crazy. Kids are crazy. You know what's crazy? Like, I'm a parent. My, my son is eight now. And, you know, I know I'm getting older because I keep comparing shit that I grew up with with the shit that he has now. <laughs> And these kids are fucking spoiled. They're soft as shit, right? Yeah. Right? They're soft as hell. They got everything. You know, like, for, for example, they got car seats and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, think about it. Like, think of all these people in this room. Can any of y'all pull up a picture with you in a fucking car seat? Anybody. Right? You got, probably got photo albums out the fucking wazoo, right? No picture of you in a fucking car seat, right? I got a picture of you in the car behind the wheel like this. <laughs> no fucking car seat. They had no fucking car seat in the 80s. 80s fucking baby. Tough ass kids. Fucking sit in the front row with your fucking mother or something, right? I'm going to Camaro. Rural bitch ass seat. I used to sit in the front row with her. With her. You know how hot vinyl seats are? It's hot in the winter. Hot in the fucking summer. She was burning through corduroy. It's hot shit. <laughs> It was real then. You had to adjust the seat with your mother. You, you know what I mean? The white bitches, it's a team seat moving shit. You know? When you sit there and you look at your mother and you gotta rock, you know, you gotta, all right, all right, all right. back to the grandmother pickup shit. You know, you gotta rock. You gotta rock. 
we just did move the shit back. I was like 19 months doing shit like that. I was 19 months moving seats and shit. You know, fuck, fuck car seats? I think they put like a puffy jacket or some shit on me when take me to the store. Put the jacket on the baby before you go to the store. Protect him a little bit. Oh, they didn't have airbags? No! Hard ass dashboard and shit. Oh, the chrome bumper age. You know what I mean? Everything had a chrome fucking bumper on the car. Chrome bumper car hit one of these shits in the parking lot, shit's gonna crumble. <laughs> I'm not gonna call the insurance company, just get a ride. Like, fuck, just give me a ride. I'll, a ride. I'll, I'll report this shit in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we got no fucking air bags and all that shit. Dave, you run up on an intersection and people would, you know, look like they're about to run. What do you have? You have your mother's arm. Your mother's arm. Baby, you're like, you motherfucking crazy right here. That's how we grew up, man. Right? You know? That's how I grew up. Like, I, this is how I know people grew up in, in the same era around where I grew up. Like, a round of applause if you were ever left in the car while your mother or father ran to the liquor store. Right. Right. Hey, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. That shit was legal in. That shit was legal in. You can leave a kid in the car while you ran. It didn't have to be liquor. It could have been cigarettes. So, I mean, some of, us, some of us had the privilege to sit in the car with a burning cigarette, right? My mother smoked 100. You know how, how long a fucking 100 is? She playing lotto and shit, and she's been here for 20 minutes. Cigarette's still burning. The cigarette butt is in my chest. It's just, I'm sitting there blowing smoke around because you're not supposed to touch shit. That's the instructions you got as soon as you left. Don't touch shit! I'm like, all right, I'm not. All right. I'm going to go to soccer practice. Man. Blowing smoke out my eyes and shit. Ridiculous, <laughs> right? That's, that's how we grew up. Oh, 80s shit. 80s. TV cut off and stuff. Cartoons came on Saturday mornings and shit. Now it's 24 fucking 7. My son gets no break with these cartoons. And now with this, this DVR fucking magic shit, you can record anything you fucking want with this DVR. This kid's filled up, this shit's filled right now. This shit, I got pop-ups every five fucking minutes. That is full, you can't, I'm like, who the fuck is recording all this shit? <laughs> right? Kids are, kids are fucking crazy. Kids are crazy. I'm not used to them still, but you know, I'm doing shows and stuff, I come in, and I come home late at night, and like, you ever come home late at night, your son or daughter is standing in the dark hallway in the dark, just sitting there like this. They're just staring at you. Just, you know, I come in, I'm like, oh, hey, 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 buddy, hey, hey. I see a lot of fucking movies. I see the Children of the Corn. I see the Polka Guys. I see the Jason. I see all that shit. I don't trust him really, you know? He's closer to his mother. It's really closer to his mother. So he's standing at home and like, hey, hey. Like, hey. You sleep? I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna get your mother. This shit's <laughs> gonna do with this shit. Let get your mother. Your mother, my son's at that awkward age, too. I got a little boy. Like, little boys always do this shit. Like, my son was in the touching phase. Just doing this shit. This, this shit's so inappropriate. This is, this is. Because you don't know when he's doing this shit. He just, just does it. Instincts, like blinking. It's like. You know, he come home from school, buddy. How was school today? I try to be a good parent. How was school today? Everything's like daddy and Miss and Miss Carla's class. We were, uh, we were cutting, uh, we were, uh, we were cutting the paper. I'm like, ah, yeah, go like this. She's talking. Fuck yourself when you're talking. Don't do that. You don't know when you're doing that shit. You don't. I went to Dunkin' with my son. I was ordering shit with donuts and stuff. I'm like, give me, um, give me the glaze, give me the manager special. 
And I noticed that the guy I'm talking to, he's looking at me, but he's looking down at my son. He's looking at me, he's looking down at my son. And I finally, I turned to my son, I'm like, buddy, what do you want? He's sitting there like, I want an eye. Uh, is that the munch? I'm like, stop! Two munchkins, man. Stop! <laughs> fucking kids. <laughs> fucking kids are crazy. Drive me crazy. You see my fucking hairline, right? This, shit, this, this is the last summer for this shit. This is right here. It's all leaving. It's all leaving. Talk with Mr. the Kid. It's all fucking gone. It's all running to the back of my head. Scared. I'm here scared of my child. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous! <laughs> Fucking ridiculous! The hairline is. I'm done this year! This is the last! <laughs> you don't understand! I'm done! This is the last fucking stand! <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the last stand! You know what I mean? It is! It is! It's tough! People got forehead jokes and shit and hairline! <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the corners and shit. You got Revis and Sherman in the corners deep. I'm like, what the fuck is it? Whoa. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I can take a joke, but the jokes are shifted. Because in high school, it was my teeth. That was my fucking forehead. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Guys, I'm not. It's fucking abusive. <laughs> I had to change my whole regimen up in the morning. I don't even shower this shit. I don't shower the same. I, I don't face the faucet anymore. I've been power washing my hairline for the past 30 something years. Moving this shit back. I turn around on it. I turn around on the faucet. I let the water run down. Think about how shit was good in the 90s, good music and shit. Yeah. I'm not gonna cut it until I get to, like the golf chip, the tee off golf chip. Like the little, you know, the ball spot that you don't know. Your barber knows there, and your wife knows there, but you don't know you're the last one. You're in denial, you know what I mean? You're the last person to know. Like the gay dude coming out the closet. You're the last person to know. No, it's always the gay dude. It's like, I just want to let everybody know <laughs> that I'm gay. Right? We knew that shit when you were seven. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm an 80s baby. Now it's like, oh, little tweet your own, live your life. In the 80s, they fucking care about that shit. They didn't give a fuck. Right? Am I right? Like, you're playing with your friends. Like, we don't know. We're kids. We're playing. We don't care. We're playing. Kids. Stop. <laughs> you know? But your uncle come out the house like, hey, your little buddy over here, little Jack, look, little guy. Look at him. 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 Look at What are you talking about? What are you saying? You don't understand shit. You're like, what? You what? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> you know, kid, you want to defend him. What? Where's Mike the shorts with his fanny pack? Put his candy in there. <laughs> That's where he puts his candy. <laughs> in the fanny pack. The turquoise biker shorts. The socks rolled down. This is, he rolled his socks down. He didn't fold them, he rolled them. <laughs> he rolled them. That's Tipple. <laughs> This time they don't roll with socks. You're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You don't want to scare a guy going stage. He's like, let's just buy him a pack of ankle socks. <laughs> Maybe that's what he wants. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's real shit. I'm, I'm just thinking about it because I got a little boy. A lot of my friends, we have boys, you know? So we sit around and we talk about this stuff. We do, we do. And, and, you know, and if he is gay, if your child grows up gay, okay, I'm going to love him until he's his own. Whatever, I don't give a fuck, you know? Whoever, love it regardless. But I'm curious. What's going on in my life? Like, how do we even select, like, the person's on the bottom? Like, I don't even know how they, how do <laughs> How does that shit work? Like, look, this guy, look, old dude's like, I, I can't fucking tell you. I <laughs> tried to Google search that shit, and it was, Google came back with a man like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> 
I can't tell you. I don't know. I picture two guys before they go to bed. They play like rock, paper, scissors. And some of them are like, oh, that's fucking rock. That rock is good. That rock is fucking good. You got me. You got me. You got me. <laughs> that shit's funny to me. I rock big precision for the little bed. Oh, this shit. Oh, this shit. Oh, I don't care. I'm a man losing his hairline and shit. I, I, Right. Look, yeah, you lost it. When'd you lose that shit, bro? I gave up. You gave up, the top? You just gave up? You didn't even want to fight for the shit? I'm fighting for mine. Yeah, see, you got the beard. I got the beard too, but I'm fighting for this shit. I can't afford a hat collection, so I'm fighting for this shit. I'm fighting for this shit. Oh, this is this is great though. Summertime finally. I don't know. Maybe 30 fucking degrees tomorrow. We don't know. <laughs> Global warmer got us all fucked up. We don't know what we're doing. 90 degrees. I got I got a vest on and shit. <laughs> like an ice storm's about to happen at lunchtime. It's not got a fucking vest on. I don't know what to do. Phone's lying to me about the fucking weather it's supposed to be out. Realize how you said the regional setup. I got the fucking, I'm looking at LA fucking forecasting. It's great. It's fucking 30 degrees out. I fucking hate these cell phones too. These fucking cell phones are killing people, man. Yes. They are. Got a new fear on the block now. It's called battery life. There's <laughs> somebody in here right now with 13%. Pissed as shit that I sit by a wall. I'm sitting here at the table like, oh, I wish I was by a fucking wall. Like, what is it? You have an outlet somewhere. Because no one's really having a good time with 13 fucking percent. <laughs> no, they want to leave. I want to fucking leave. I'm going to blow this bunch of people with androids. I got an iPhone. Fuck these people. <laughs> At 13 goddamn percent. <laughs> I'm at 25%. I'm trying to hurry the fuck up. <laughs> and I'm local. Yeah, I'm a bit if I get cut off on Facebook. I want to know what my friends have for dinner. <laughs> Don't even talk. <laughs> Facebook so fucking much, like half my friends are here, like, what am I gonna say? I know what the fuck y'all did all week. I, I just walked into you like, ah, thanks for coming. <laughs> How's your son's knees, all right? <laughs> he fell on Monday. What was that Tuesday? Was that Monday? Is that a weekend? <laughs> Social media, guys, fucked up. Thinking we're closer, but we're not. We're further away from each other. We don't give a shit. <laughs> you ever see some horrible shit on Facebook? People went hospital tubes and shit like that. You like it. The fuck you like it and shit. There's no other option on there. You like it or you comment. But then you hit the comment thing, you sit there and stare at it like, what the fuck am I saying? It's no <laughs> It'll raise their spirits and get them out there. It's a fucking sick place. It's sick. It's fucking sick. I tell people, don't take hospital pictures, man. Stop. 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 You can't. Stop. This shit is just ridiculous. Don't you? It's just... It's not appropriate. You're not even supposed to have fucking cell phones in the hospital doing this shit. I mean, these signs have been up since fucking flip phones. Right? Who has a flip phone in here? Got, got quiet and some people was like, shh. As soon as you unhinge that shit, we're gonna hear a creak of the fucking hand. Just. <laughs> 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 flip I like flip phones because people want texting as much. <laughs> These fucking text messages. I'm not patient enough for a fucking text, man. I'm not. I'm not patient enough for a reply. I'm the fucking dude that texts you and call you right after. Yo! Did you read that shit? Read that shit and call me back. You know what I hate about cell phones is seeing people on the phone and like you ever been on the phone and your call drop 
right? But you didn't know your call dropped. <laughs> until about 30 seconds in. But it's so funny, because you can tell, like when someone's call dropped, they'll, they'll be on the phone like, yeah, and we were all at the mall, and then everybody, hello, hello, hello. Hello? They'll say hello like 30 different types of fucking ways. Like it's just gonna bring the caller back. Hello? 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 Hola? Good night? Hello? What the fuck? Hang up. Hang up. They, they probably didn't want to talk to you. That's what I do. I hung up on and blamed that shit on service? I got T-Mobile, they believe that shit. They're like, oh, man. Sure, this fucked up, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shit. But only child would give a fucking shit. I really don't. I really don't. Like, I gotta give a shit. I got a kid, I got a job and stuff. You guys working, everybody got a job in here? Go, go, all right, go. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. You ever drive all the way to work and call out in the parking lot? That's <laughs> <laughs> it. You did that, huh, Glenn? Yeah, yeah, you did that. Glad you didn't do it tonight, though, but thanks for coming. <laughs> like, you drove all the way there and just stared at the building like, ah, this fucking thing. I can't get out of the car. <laughs> like, that's the decision you're supposed to make when you're brushing your teeth in the morning. You're supposed to drive all the way and stare at the building and say Hel hateful shit about your fucking job. Like, I hate this fucking place. I wish it would burn, burn down, but all everybody I'm cool with ain't there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I got reasons why I don't hate my job. It, it's, it's just like that I work in the corporate world. I've been working it for too fucking long, but you know what's funny to me? That was really hilarious to me. Like, I've been at my job for about like 10, 10 years or so, right? And I'm at the point where I have like a crazy amount of fucking sick days. Like, days off. For 30 fucking days or whatever. It's great. You know what I mean? But the way the job do these days, the way they separate these days or whatever, they do, okay, well, about 12 of these are paid time off, and this is unscheduled paid time off, and this seven is for sick days. <laughs> now, to me, these are 30 fucking days that says I don't have to be at this bitch. So why does it even matter if it's if this, that, this? Why are you guys doing this shit on the back end? Like, I'm not here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can save you a lot of work. Like, well, was it an unpaid day? Was it a sick day? It was a day where I wasn't fucking there. You gave me 30. <laughs> He gave me 30, right? Because I got one of those managers that's just overqualified. They want to ask you why you're sick or why you're taking the fucking day. I hate those fucking managers. They try to buddy up with you. Come on, bro, Ty. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. It's Friday. You can't come in today. Just one more day. Come on. What's going on? I'm like, I don't really have to give you a reason. You gave me 30 fucking days. <laughs> I'll call out. Just put 29. I'm not fucking coming. Right? And he's on the phone waiting for some kind of reason. Like, I can tell him any fucking thing. Like, why aren't you coming in? I'm hunting for fucking Bigfoot. That's why. I'm <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just put fucking 29. I'm not there. It doesn't matter. Why does it matter? You know what I mean? Like, you gave me these days. Whether you put it in what column I took, that's up to you. I don't give a fuck. I'm not there. I'm not there. When you ask for me, you're like, I haven't seen him all day. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm not there. That's 30 days. You know, when I get to the end of the year, you can't roll them over like fucking minutes on the phone. They don't even pay me for those fucking days. You're like, oh, you gotta use them or lose them. Like, okay, well, I'm not coming in. Well, why? What the fuck does it matter? <laughs> you said use them or lose them. Did you say that? You said that shit. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I really don't. I don't. Sometimes I don't like my job. I don't. Sometimes I don't. You know, I'm thankful to have it. You know, don't get it twisted. I'm thankful to have it. But sometimes I'm like, ah, I could do that. I could do something else. You know what? You, you know what, too? I'm like, and I, I'm, I'm going to say this, and I don't know if this is a cultural thing, but 
I think like black people are really, really sensitive about good mornings. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? You hear the black people laughing at you. They're like, oh shit. Oh, he's talking about some shit. Look, good morning is very fucking important, regardless who you are. Am I right? Right or wrong? We work together, we spend the majority of our time together, probably more time at work than we do with our fucking families. The least you can do is say, Good morning. You know what I mean? We swipe the same badge, they go into the same fucking building, making money for the same goddamn company, they give us these shitty days, got managers questioning us why. You know, you can't say good morning. Like, good morning. Yeah, say that shit back, because I'll be pissed if you don't. There's a black person in here right now, like, ooh, you know what? Deb Rain say good morning last week. Fuck that thing. You know what I mean? That shit gets in your fucking soul. That shit, it hurts you. Cause you know you say, hey, good morning. I try to come positive. Hey, good morning. You know, I get one of those, mm, whew, oh, that's fucked up. You know what I mean? You know, I don't like that. And I have my job, you know, I'm the IT person. I'm the network administrator. I, you know, I control a lot of shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I control a lot of shit. I got a lot of power. It's bad. Good bad. Like you, like I call myself the printer guy. You know what I mean? Cause I can dictate who prints and who doesn't fucking print. <laughs> I'm the gatekeeper. You know what I mean? If you want that output, you gotta fucking say good morning. <laughs> you gotta say good morning. Brenda tried that shit last week. I said good morning, Brenda. She said, mm, and he walked by and I said, who? Oh. <laughs> Guess who ain't printing today? <laughs> fucking with printing? <laughs> say fucking good morning. Say good morning. <laughs> say the shit. It's great. It's great. Good morning. 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 Everybody, good morning. <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm gonna go to work and not say shit to anybody tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, Ty's not talking to anybody. Oh, I got my good mornings last night. Fuck no. <laughs> These people meant it last night. They meant that shit. So I do that shit. But you couldn't print. But you couldn't print. And if people can't print at work in the corporate world, people fucking melt down when the printer don't work. There's an uprising. People are like, I'm about to leave this place. This fucking printer broke a dick. It broke a dick. So I got print over to my cube. Oh, Ty. Uh, I can't print. I was trying to get this report out, you know, and you know everybody seems to be printing, but I can't. <laughs> so I turn around. I go, Oh, good morning, Brenda. Good morning. Good morning. Still went over the fucking head. Like, yeah, but I can't print. <laughs> Let me see what I can do. Uh, I don't know if I can do it. Cause you know, I'm an IT guy. I make up a bunch of shit, you know? I just use technical stuff. They don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I said, well, Brenda, it's messed up. I, it's sad, cause I looked and your account is fine over here. But the problem is we're doing this new secure printing. And what's happening with your account is replicated over to a server in Hong Kong. <laughs> Now the problem with Hong Kong right now is daytime here, it's nighttime here. But I'm gonna send this email and I'm gonna say Brenda can't print today, but possibly tomorrow morning. When people come in and say good morning, Brenda, you'll be able to print again. No, that's just fucking true. No, that's just fucking true. Just stall their fucking ass out. Just watch her sweat in her fucking desk and had other people print for her. Can you make this for me? You fuck with the bully, you get the horns. You know what I mean? <laughs> say good morning. It's worth it. Yeah, you see? Hey, good morning. It's worth it. It's fucking worth it. Say good morning. Don't fuck with the IT dude. Don't, don't do it. It gets ugly. It gets ugly. It does. Fucking Brenda. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Well, this pisses me off too, and this could be petty, but this is just me. You know, this is me. Um, I don't really, at work, I, I'm a stickler for, for Tupperware. I don't really fucking talk to people that got fucked up Tupperware when they bring their food in for lunch. Like, people invest in good Tupperware. So no reason to come with spaghetti stained Tupperware. Shit just been fucking through the ringer. You know, spend eight bucks, get some new shit. You know, got it on sale every week. Get some new fucking Tupperware. Came to work last week. Somebody had spaghetti, right? The Tupperware. But the shit had no lid. It was wrapped with fucking saran wrap. The whole fucking thing. I sat there and said, who the, who the hell? Is eating this goddamn spaghetti wrapped with saran wrap with a Tupperware bottom? Like, who is living life with no lids? Who? <laughs> I know we all been there. To a certain point, you're going through your Tupperware, you're trying to say, oh, I want to put this potato salad in something small, but there's no lid for this one. Where the fuck is that lid at? Somebody's living a lidless life. <laughs> I sat in the break room for 40 fucking minutes to see who the hell is going to eat this goddamn spaghetti. I'm not going anywhere. I was like, fuck that. No, 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 no. Who the hell wrapped this spaghetti in the door? I thought this shit was acceptable. Brenda. It was fucking Brenda! It was fucking Brenda! She came to that shit and just took it out the bridge whistling. I don't know what the fuck, man. Get your life together. You can't break, you don't have no fucking lids. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why you out Tupperware lids? It gotta fucking hurt. That shit's gotta suck. Oh, that shit's gotta suck. You know what's almost as worse as that shit? Just fucking living light with the fucking television, television remote with no battery back on that bitch. I fucking hate that shit. I'm living that life right fucking now. Oh. I hate to turn, turn the channels and just feel the two double-A batteries spinning out of my <laughs> Just spinning as you turn the channel and you stare at your child like, I know you fucking did this shit. <laughs> I gave up. That's why I used to try to, you know, we tried to tape it. I started with the clear scotch tape. That shit got, you know, hand getting moist, the shit's peeling and stuff. I moved to the other brown tape, the beige tape. You know, the safe kid tape that won't pull their skin and shit off. That shit came off. I put Gorilla Tape on this shit and couldn't change the batteries. The tape was so fucking strong. <laughs> Curse my son every time in my head, like, ah, oh, this fucking kid. <laughs> Batteries don't even match. It's got a fucking Bobcat battery. And... It's an off Chinese brand battery with like a Thomas the Train tank in it or some shit. Fuck kids, it's crazy, man. Kids doing that shit to me. <laughs> but I'm gonna get out of here because these people are like, who is late? Did you see the time? Did you see the time? <laughs> Alright, damn kids. Yeah, some of you guys got babysitters on a Thursday, probably fucked up your weekend plans. I don't know if Rebecca's gonna come back on Saturday night. I don't know. Plan better. Plan better. Plan better. Plan better. Plan better. Before I go, I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta get out of here soon. My wife don't even know I'm fucking here. I was told her. <laughs> well, I was taking out the garbage. I left the house in the garbage bag. <laughs> Just two and a half hours ago, I left in a garbage bag with my car keys. She's like, why are you taking your keys? I got shit in the car. I got to empty the car out. The car out of the That's what fucking married dudes do. Do any fucking thing to get out the house. Drink a whole half gallon of milk. Just go to the supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. Lactose intolerant. I ain't gonna be doing shit like that. And the container, hey, we got a milk. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, that's my time. I'm time ready, y'all. Yo, give it up for time.
Ben, yo! Oh, oh, you guys pay your $10 worth?